What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and guys, I am starting a new series on my channel. It doesn't have a schedule or anything like that, but I figure I would offer my tips and tricks for PUBG, how I do things in this game, some things that, you know, make it a little bit easier for me to play it, uh, strategies and whatnot. So this is the first video in that series. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about my parachute game. That's right, guys. My parachute game is tight in PUBG. Uh, whether it's squads, whether it's single player, and anything in between, three man or duo, uh, I do have a strategy when it comes to that parachute game. And I will gladly share that with you today. Now, as you can see... Here we go, we have the plane coming in. First things first, you want to pick a space far away from that line that the, the airplane is flying. Because you want to land somewhere where you can loot. Alright, that, that is the whole thing. You want to be able to loot in peace when you first jump out of the airplane. Now here's the thing, you gotta, as soon as you get out of the plane, you gotta turn your camera angle facing up. You gotta look right at your, uh, for lack of a better term, Look right at your grundle, and as soon as it hits X, depending on how far away you are from the mark, the farther away you are from your mark, the sooner you want to pull your parachute. But I did it like as soon as it it said hit X here. Now here is the main thing. If you look at the bottom left meter, this is the secret to my parachute game. All right. What you want to do is you want to take the left stick and you want to put it down at an angle. You just want to slightly push your your left thumb stick forward on your controller, right? Now, in that bottom left corner, there is a meter. Now, it shows my parachute and it shows how fast I'm dropping. But not only does it show how, fa how fast I'm dropping, it's showing how fast I'm traveling, period. Now, you want to push forward slightly and you want to keep... Uh, you want to keep that kilometers per hour between 17 and about 23, all right? That's how you're going to get kind of like the furthest distance that you can get and not hang up in the air so long. You are going to be up in the air for a while depending on how quick you pull your parachute, right? But that doesn't really mean a lot because once you land, you're going to be in an area where nobody else is. And you're going to be able to pick up all the weapons you need, everything like that, just by by doing this. Uh, I don't know a lot of people that really travel far from that, that first line, that, that, that path that the airplane is taking. Most people don't travel far away from that. So you have a very, very good chance of ending up in a town, in a group of buildings, and being able to loot um, pretty much in peace for, for that first round. Now, please take into account that the, the first circle is going to show up around the path of the airplane. So the further away you go, the more you're going to have to tra travel to get in to the first circle. And for people who know PUBG, you know what I'm talking about. It's all about that circle barrier and staying inside that circle and being the last one standing to get that chicken dinner. I mean, that's what we want to do, right, guys? We are fighting 99 people out there for a chicken dinner but this is pretty much it i am showing you exactly i i recorded exactly what i do how i get to where i'm going and as you can see i am traveling pretty far if you look at the bottom right you show my mini map you can see how much distance i am covering by using this method now the thing is once you get to the uh that that really white part of the meter in, in terms of my elevation that bottom left hand meter if you feel like you're a little bit farther away from where you should be um you can literally you can kind of rock your your character you can you know aim down by pushing up on the left uh thumbstick uh aim down a little bit more aggressively and then let go aim down and then let go and it swings you and it'll get you a little bit further so i i hit my mark here um i hope you guys remember 
you know where I put the mark at the beginning of this video I am gonna come out with another video as well in terms of where I land the the spots that I like to land when I play PUBG, uh, when I'm playing single player, and when I'm playing, you know, with a squad as well. So, be on the lookout for that. But this is my parachute game in all its splendor, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Hit my mark. But as usual, guys, if you like the topics, you like the gameplay, you know, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me as it helps out my channel. It helps get the word out in terms of my videos. I know um, I haven't come out with a lot of videos per se the last few weeks or so, but I, I am looking to definitely change that. Uh, life has been really busy on this side in terms of work scheduling and all that good stuff. But yes, this is my, my first video in my PUBG Tips and Tricks series. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off. Trying to get demons up out of me. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Deceasing opponents so properly. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me. We come to take this shit over.